another day another story hello and welcome to our channel where we bring you the latest news and updates from the world of science and technology in this video we will be discussing the creation and explanation of the fifth state of matter bose einstein condensate by indian scientists to understand the concept of bose einstein condensate we need to have some basic knowledge of the states of matter but in 1924 albert einstein and satyendra nath bose predicted the existence of a fifth state of matter known as bose einstein condensate buck is a state of matter that occurs when a group of bosons a type of subatomic particle are cooled to temperatures close to absolute zero at this temperature the bosons start to clump together and form a superatom physicists have created the first bose einstein condensate the mysterious fifth state of matter made from quasi particles these are entities that do not count as elementary particles although they can still have elementary particle properties such as charge and spin This discovery is said to have a significant impact on the development of quantum technologies including quantum computing. A paper describing the process of creation of the substance which was achieved at temperatures just a tiny bit above absolute zero was published recently in the journal Nature Communications. Bose Einstein condensates are sometimes described as the fifth state of matter. alongside solids liquids gases and plasmas theoretically predicted in the early 20th century bose einstein condensates or bucks were only created in a lab as recently as 1995 they are also perhaps the strangest state of matter with a great deal about them remaining unknown to science Bucks occur when a group of atoms is cooled to within billionths of a degree above absolute zero. Researchers commonly use lasers and magnet traps to steadily reduce the temperature of a gas, typically composed of rubidium atoms. At this ultra-cool temperature, the atoms barely move and begin to exhibit very strange behavior. They experience the same quantum state almost like coherent photons in a laser and start to clump together occupying the same volume as one indistinguishable superatom the collection of atoms essentially behaves as a single particle currently bucks remain the subject of much basic research and for simulating condensed matter systems but in principle they have applications in quantum information processing quantum computing still in early stages of development makes use of a number of different systems but they all depend upon quantum bits or qubits that are in the same quantum state most bucks are fabricated from dilute gases of ordinary atoms But until now, a buck made out of exotic atoms has never been achieved. Exotic atoms are atoms in which one subatomic particle, such as an electron or a proton, is replaced by another subatomic particle that has the same charge. Positronium, for example, is an exotic atom made of an electron and its positively charged antiparticle, a positron. and exciton is another such example when light hits a semiconductor the energy is sufficient to excite electrons to jump up from the valence level of an atom to its conduction level these excited electrons then flow freely in an electric current in essence transforming light energy into electrical energy when the negatively charged electron performs this jump The space left behind or hole can be treated as if it were a positively charged particle. The negative electron and positive hole are attracted and thus bound together. Combined, this electron hole pair is an electrically neutral quasi-particle called an exciton. 
A quasi-particle is a particle-like entity that does not count as one of the 17 elementary particles of the standard model of particle physics, but that can still have elementary particle properties like charge and spin. The exciton quasi-particle can also be described as an exotic atom because it is in effect a hydrogen atom that has had its single positive proton replaced by a single positive hole. Excitons come in two flavors, orthoexcitons, in which the spin of the electron is parallel to the spin of its hole, and paraexcitons, in which the electron spin is anti-parallel to that of its hole. Electron hole systems have been used to create other phases of matter such as electron hole plasma and even exciton liquid droplets. The researchers wanted to see if they could make a buck out of excitons. Direct observation of an exciton condensate in a three-dimensional semiconductor has been highly sought after since it was first theoretically proposed in 1962. Nobody knew whether quasi particles could undergo Bose-Einstein condensation in the same way as real particles, said Makoto Kuwata Gonokami, a physicist at the University of Tokyo and co-author of the paper. It's kind of the holy grail of low-temperature physics. The researchers thought that hydrogen-like para-excitons created in cuprous oxide, a compound of copper and oxygen, were one of the most promising candidates for fabricating exciton bucks in a bulk semiconductor because of their long lifetime. Attempts at creating para-exciton buck at liquid helium temperatures of around 2K had been made in the 1990s, but failed because, in order to create a buck out of excitons, temperatures far lower than that are needed. Orthoexcitons cannot reach such a low temperature as they are too short-lived. Paraexcitons, however, are experimentally well known to have an extremely long lifetime of over several hundred nanoseconds, sufficiently long to cool them down to the desired temperature of a buck. The team managed to trap paraexcitons in the bulk of MULTIVALENTCU201 below 400 mK using a dilution refrigerator. This is a cryogenic device that cools by mixing two isotopes of helium together and is commonly used by scientists attempting to realize quantum computers. They then directly visualized the exciton buck in real space by the use of mid-infrared induced absorption imaging, a type of microscopy making use of light in the middle of the infrared range. This allowed the team to take precision measurements, including the density and temperature of the excitons, that in turn enabled them to mark out the differences and similarities between exciton buck and regular atomic buck. The group's next step will be to investigate the dynamics of how the exciton buck forms in the bulk semiconductor, and to investigate collective excitations of exciton bucks. Their ultimate goal is to build a platform based on a system of exciton bucks, for further elucidation of its quantum properties, and to develop a better understanding of the quantum mechanics of qubits that are strongly coupled to their environment. In conclusion, Indian scientists have made significant contributions to the understanding and creation of the fifth state of matter, Bose-Einstein condensate. Their work has helped to unlock the potential of Buck, which has several applications in various fields. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more such videos. Thanks for watching.